you know, coming from a very sort of humble background, I, I never knew much about art. I mean, I couldn't even, you know, paint the, the front door and never more, <laughs> you know. I was terrible at art. I gave up art in school and everything. But it was only like when I became a snooker player. Uh, and on trips to Malta, uh, I was taken to uh, a church there where Caravaggio has like uh, three masterpieces there. But they told me that he, you know, he had been in exile in Malta because he killed a, uh, a man in a sword fight over a game of tennis, apparently, you know? So uh, my, my hero was always Alex Higgins, who was the complete rogue uh, in snooker. So maybe the fact that he had a sort of uh, checkered past Caravaggio, that uh, it sort of, uh, it makes him more intriguing in a way. He wasn't like the boring snooker player that I am, you know what I mean, or Steve Davis is. Uh, he's, he's a little bit more intrigued about him, and he was a bit of a character. Even here, his sort of character shows out, because here he is at the back of the painting, in a really serious moment, like, you know, where, where Christ knows that he's, he's captured by the, by, uh, the guards, he's gonna be crucified. Uh, but here is Caravaggio at the back, like having a look in, you know what I mean? And putting his own, his face on the painting. So yeah, he was definitely a bit of a character, uh, a bit of a showman. Something that I could never be, but maybe I wanted to be. <laughs> what captured me first was uh, sort of the faces, the dark, you know, the, the, his use of like, what they call chiaroscuro, which I hadn't got a clue about before, but it's the uses of the dark shades and the light, and how we, how we sort of um, can can put light, almost like there is a light shining upon upon the painting, and also the faces, you know, the, the expressions on the different faces. It's just uh, every time you look at it, and every time you, you know, when I go into the gallery, you know, I just you can sit there. There's a bench in front of of the painting. You can just sit there and relax and lose yourself. Sometimes you can almost feel yourself that you're in the garden itself, you know, hiding behind a, a tree and looking at this actually scene taking place, you know, and uh, that's uh, that, that that's the beauty of it. I think. Look at this is a masterpiece that's been lost for like. You know, this painting is 410 years old this year, uh, and we have it on our doorstep here in Dublin. It's an amazing story, you know? And the fact that I can bring my son in, you know, almost every other, other week to see it is a, is, a, is a gift, like, you know? So I want him to enjoy it as well. When I say to other snooker players, you know, I, I'm interested in art, they say, oh, yeah, <laughs> you know, pull the other one, you know? But it, it's only because of, of Caravaggio and this particular painting uh, that I became interested in art.